And the other one, anyone come across uh, Robert Kiyosaki? Right, here's a book for, you, for your, your children, if they're age that they can start to read and, and understand a little bit about finance, and generally if they've got pocket money, it's good. Um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, fantastic book by Robert Kiyosaki, uh, for you guys. And actually, I would probably suggest that reading that yourselves is not a bad start. Um, but Rich Dad, uh, uh, The Cashflow Quadrant is a really good book. And this one helps in terms of the, the, the process that we have when we're working with businesses and moving business forward. So essentially what Robert talks about is we start up in this quadrant here of being employed, we get to a point where we can then move to being self-employed. You know, uh, from self-employed we can then start to build, and as business owners we can be self-employed. You know, Kevin and Helen, I, and I don't mean to be flippant, but you know, right now you're probably self-employed in terms of starting your business out. And when you, when you start to get up to the point here where you've got the business working for you and there's passive income, we become business owners. And then we get to this point here where actually we can step away from the business, and I'll give you our definition of a success of a business in a moment. We step away from the business and we become you know, those investors. What was it? Sorry, what were the books called? Um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. The first one's at Emeth. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Emeth is on. And um, Cashflow Quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki. Quinn, can you just go into the book cabinet? Uh, Robert Kiyosaki's two books are out there. Just put them on the side of your people have a look at so, that's the cash flow quadrant. So what he talks about is moving from employed to self-employed, from self-employed up to business owner is where we term in our, our, what we call our six steps come into play. Uh, and then, the, you know, the, building the synergy and the results within a business, getting to the point where suddenly you can, you can feel that you're an investor. Um, thanks, mate. You can find, suddenly feel that you're an investor and actually making a difference in terms of those businesses that you potentially run. So... This is where uh, we want to start to engender and talk about the business fundamentals. And this is Action Coach's definition of a successful business. So a commercial, profitable enterprise that works without you. Now, if any of you here are in the ability to be able to go and take six weeks away from your office, have a holiday, not call them once, come back, profits have grown, and you don't recognize some of the team members, you're in that position. But the reality is that that position is, is, is achievable. You can get to a point where you can grow a business to that point. Now that might seem like a bridge too far when we start to think about it in terms of, well, I'm running the business now, or we've just started out. But this goes back to that positive mindset and where are you going to be in five years? You know, Brad Sugar's our CEO, started this out, uh, his business out, I think, 20, probably around 25 years ago. About the same time I joined the army, uh, what, 30 years ago now. So a little bit after that, he got started in business. He's now got a net worth of over $150 million in that, that time frame. You know, where are you going to be in five years? Don't, don't hold back on yourselves. And when you start to put this stuff into play, it's how it's achievable. You know, when we have a coffee and break in a moment, you know, I, I, can, I can certainly recount some of the success stories with my clients in terms of what they've managed to achieve in 12 months. And it's quite significant once the focus starts to come in. But don't believe that that's not achievable, because it is. Absolutely. And just because we say it works without you doesn't mean that you aren't a part of it. I'm never not going to be a part of my business, because, funny enough, if you haven't picked it up already, I'm passionate about what I do. I love coaching businesses. It's fantastic. But I'll have coaches, and I'll be able to you know, have my dare I say, my select clients, or people that I want to work with, my own portfolio. But I'll be able to say that I'm going to disappear off for a few months and come back and the business will have grown. That's the key. Anybody not want that? 